Hello, YouTube friends. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I'm the head of technical support. In today's video, I will introduce you to the Ajax uh, Hub 2 Plus from Ajax Systems. The Ajax Hub here that we have in front of us is the brain of the system. So, for instance, it will support 200 devices such as sirens, you know, door contacts, glass brick detectors, um, you know, keypads. Um, so it's it's a very advanced system. Um, you know, in the whole um, class of products, this is the only device that will need a wired connection. Um, but every other devices that we will show you in the future are wirelessly connected to this hub. Okay, so again, this is the brain of system. 200 devices, 200 users, 50 rooms, you know, to group your devices in different rooms, let's say the garage or, you know, a warehouse or an offices, a house, uh, for instance. And, um, and also it support up to 64 different programming scenarios for different applications, okay? So again, this is from Ajax Systems. Inaxis is the uh, Canadian distributor and um, uh, we think it's a very good product and it's an amazing system, very easy to use for you and your clients. And uh, if you want more details of the advantages for the system, please look at the link below. We have another video that we made some weeks ago uh, about, you know, uh, why we think Ajax is an amazing system. So in order to pair the hub with my smartphone application, um, I need first to have Ethernet connected to the hub. All right. So if you open the hub when it's brand new, you need to connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port. Make sure this cable is connected to a router or a switch that has a DHCP service running. Okay, so most routers will have that enabled by default. Okay, so you connect the power cable, which is included with the device. Connect the Ethernet cable, which is also included with the device. All right, and then you press the power button. Okay, now we can close. Oh, actually, no, we need it later. So, not close this. So, all right, so when it's connecting, it's going to show red for maybe 20 seconds, and when it's showing green, it means that this device is now connected to the internet. So it is connected to the cloud server. I can now open the mobile app and then pair the hub with it, okay? Now, here I can launch the mobile application. From the main screen, what you want to do is click on the plus sign to add a new hub, okay? You need to give the hub a name if you allow the mobile app to use your camera, you can press on this button to scan the QR code, which is underneath the cover here. So this will automatically fill the ID for you, so you don't have to type all those parameters and uh, characters. Now we can close the lid, press OK to add the hub, and that's it. We're already paired with the device. So by doing so, I am now you know, the administrator of the device, okay? So you see from the main screen, we have this hub. Remember that the system must be disarmed before you can make any programming changes to the hub, which is very similar to what you know about other alarm systems. You have to disarm the system and then you can, as an installer, make programming changes, okay? Let me show you the basic parameters to put this device on your local network and then make sure you have, you know, not only Ethernet, but also maybe Wi-Fi or cell network to connect to this device remotely, okay? If you have any more, any advanced questions about the, the hub and what it can do, please send the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer you very quickly, okay? So let's have a look at the settings here. So under devices, you select the hub. You tap the um, configuration button here at the top, okay? So... You can even add a photo, a photo of the company where this hub is installed, or a photo of the house, something like that. So under Ethernet, it's enabled and it's now in DHCP mode, which is the default setting, okay? Um, in this example, I am connected to the guest network. Okay, so you can connect to one network. When you open the Wi-Fi page, it's going to take a few seconds and scan the nearby Wi-Fi networks that are, um, you know, being broadcasted, and then you can select the one you want. I'm currently using the guest network, okay? If you need to connect the um, device to the cell network, okay, and by the way, when you order Ajax hardware from us, we can include the SIM card 
uh, for your monitoring station. Okay, we have a list of monitoring stations with the Ajax um, translator software running in Canada. There's several of them in different you know uh, provinces. So you know we cover the whole country for you, and, and you, you will have a service available in your area. So like I said, we can have up to two SIM cards here. Okay, so. Um, this is good for the cellular network settings, okay? Um, this is where also under users, this is where you can send invite uh, by using the email address. Once the user creates an account and opens the mobile application, the hub will show up and by default is gonna have user access, right? So we can arm and disarm uh, the system for instance, okay? So again, this was how to uh, configure the um, Ajax Hub 2 Plus with your mobile application. Now, uh, in the next couple of videos, we'll show you how to connect devices and program them. Okay? Again, my name is Fred Bergeron. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification button. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please send them below, and we'll be more than happy to help you and answer your questions. Thank you.